In tonight's consumer alert, having secure passwords can keep you from getting hacked, but most people don't want to try and remember a complicated set of letters and numbers and characters. It's tough. Mm -hmm. Reporter Danielle Nottingham found out some ways to make it a little easier. For most of us, passwords are a pain. I do not have a good password. I've had the same three passwords for the past like 10 years. <laughs> and it's a common problem. A report from Splash Data last year found the two most popular passwords were password and 123456. But you're not going to do 123456. No, no. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's too easy. I might do like 678, but no. <laughs> we went to Google to find out how they handle passwords. Google uh, has gotten rid of some of the things that are still thought of as best practices elsewhere, like forcing you to rotate your password every few months. Mark Risher is Google's Director of Product Management and says you should come up with unique and complicated passwords. The best advice for passwords is actually to use a different one on every site. Instead of putting capital letters at the beginning and numbers at the end, mix it up to make it harder for hackers to guess. I have insane passwords that no one would ever crack. Shane Brady came up with his own unique system after having his identity stolen. I make acronyms and I throw numbers of hockey players into my passwords. But it can be hard to keep track of that. So Risher recommends a password manager that can remember them for you. It's also good to set up two-tier authentication, which usually involves a text or app. A code is sent to your device and you type it in as an extra security step. That's probably the best way that your viewers can protect themselves is by adding that second factor. If you want to go a step further, you can also purchase a security key. When you try to log into a site, your phone or computer detects the device and with a tap you can confirm it's you and not a hacker trying to log in. We've been waiting all night, not even checking any scores or anything <laughs> to hear how the Fargo Force did. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah. we have some exciting highlights. It was a thrilling game, a physical game, as head coach Kerry Eats said he expected it to be. We've got highlights from this one and a whole lot of other action from across the valley today. That's next.